out here at the jetty. That's Captain Fred over there. They're looking for fish too. This is this was on. I'm hoping it's the black drum because put shrimp on here. Nothing but plain old dead shrimp. This is something. I'm hoping it's something for the cooler. I wasn't going to record anything because of the high winds and ugly waves, but we'll see. We will see. Oh, little red. Little red looks like he is in slot. Let's hope I can get him in. Net. Okay, come on, little red. I haven't caught a redfish in a great long time. There we go. Woohoo! Red! Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the first red drum of the year. And I think that he is in slot. 18 to 27. I'll measure him up and check it out. This way. I'll get back to you. Pinch his tail. He is 25 and a half. That's a nice size. Take home, cut up, package up, take to the food pantry. You betcha. That's a nice fish. Got the skunk out of the boat with a red broom. Thank you, Lord. Looking for black, but that's all right. Number two. I'm gonna let this one go. He hit it. It's just dead old shrimp. If it's a red, I'm letting him go. But he hit it and hits, I'm pretty sure it's a red. He's on the way down. Didn't even get to the bottom. Yep. Oh, perfect size. Perfect size. That's my second red drum today. Both of them about the same size. Put them over here so Captain Fred can see it, so his customers can see it. Maybe they'll come over here when I leave. Hooker. There it is. Right where I left it, I guess. Come on, I'll let you go, fella. Here you go. There's two. Two in a hole. Looking for black. Looking for black. Well, yeah, this looked like number three. This looked like Mr. Red Drum number three. I can catch a black drum. I like my black drum a little bit better than the red drum. I don't want to leave pretty soon because the winds are kicking up. And this again was on shrimp. Nothing's biting on these frozen finger mullet. Feels like a little healthier fish, honestly. A little healthier fish. A sabiki caught in this. There we go. Yeah, got my drum. Oh, black drum. Black drum. Thank you, Lord. Black drum. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hmm. Thank you, Lord, for this nice, perfect size, beautiful black drum. That's the second skunk out of the boat. We'll keep her fish. Black! Black drum! Yeah! Good eating! Well, let me measure them up for you. And I'll also somewhat describe my rig here. This guy is 21 inches long. Good size. Excellent size. Nice 
beautiful white meat on this fish. Let me get him off of here. And I'll just grab him. Hear drum? I don't know if you can hear drum in this wind or not, but he's a drum, a drum, a drum. It's a good eating fish, folks. Nice white meat. This is my setup here. Kind of a short leader. I think this is about a hundred pound leader. And this is a four ounce, that's a four ounce egg sinker. My line's only about a foot, maybe 13 inches long. And that's not on purpose. I like to have it about 18 inches long. Got me a J hook on here. Got about a number five J. Get rid of some of this extra tag and there's the old J hook pretty simple pretty simple setup swivel right there that's about I believe this is 80 pound braid maybe 100 that's not what count what counts is the uh, the leader and it's that leader is this leader is um, the good stuff uh, what's it called a uh, 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 tsunami or something like that Anyway, that's the setup, and this is on my medium ugly stick, my little one, medium action ugly, and the model of the number of this one is BWS 11017 foot. Let's go get another black drum. I like my black drum. I really like my black drum. I think we got Mr. Number 2 black drum. And he feels a little bigger. <laughs> oh my. Black grub red drum. He's got a bone in him. He's a nice one. I got my net ready to go too. Here he comes. Oops, there he goes. Got an attitude. Got an attitude. shrimp love my shrimp I'm gonna have to buy some pretty soon because I didn't catch any this year almost none up oh, getting a bite on the old dead finger mullet now yep sure enough this feels like mr. big black drum Come on. Let me see you, big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting just like a black one. Look at the bend of this pole. Ray! <laughs> Ray! <laughs> oh, well. This is some little thing like a little blue. Should use for bait. Little Crevelli, Jack Crevelli. That would be excellent bait. So I was going after Goliath Grouper. You betcha. Oh, on a circle hook. Yep, on a circle hook. This was dead finger mullet. Not biting much. I don't know, might be another one of them blasted stingrays. Uh, it could be a red, it could be a red. This is on a 5 aught. no, this is on a 7 aught circle hook. I hooked it through the tail. It's on to that nice old dead one. I'm glad to see there's something showing up. That looked like a red drum to me. Looked like a red drum to me, about the same size. All about the same size, nice size. Good for eating. There we go. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for 
Well, this a little bit bigger one, it looks like to me. And yes, big old circle hook, and he swallowed it. Some of you guys think I'm using J hooks. When I say J hook, I mean J hook. When I see circle hook, I mean circle hook. Quit flipping around so I can get you off of here. There he goes. It's free. Any way you look at it, that's a big old circle hook. Just for you guys who think I'm using J hooks when I, I'm using circle hooks, I use J hooks inside. And I use circle hooks offshore. That's number three. I actually use J hooks when I'm hunting for pelagics. Because you can, that's why. Number three red. Here we go again. Ooh, catch another red. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dead finger mullet. Probably another red drum. And I'll be leaving soon because the wind is really picking up. Feel like a little bit bigger one. This is fun, but I don't like the wind. It makes for lousy videos. This is Thursday. I think it's Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. This is up oh, Goliath. Little Goliath. Folks, you know, I do get a Goliath to the surface every once in a while. Even though it is a baby. Even though it is a baby. That would be good to eat. Oh, I tell you. Circle hook is right in the side of the mouth. Let's go over here to this one. After we've let that Goliath go and pull in whatever this is on a shrimp. This is on a shrimp. Yeah, a shrimp. Looking for black drum. I got one black drum. Yeah, yeah. One after another. I'm glad Captain Fred's bringing his clients over here. I'm gonna let him have this spot. And I like Captain Fred, he's a nice guy, and I got everything I need today. Seem to be right out there. The last black drum, red drum kind of day. This is a red, fight like a red. Yep, red drum number four. And this was on a J, -j, -j, -j hook. And a shrimp. All right. Let's see how badly he swallowed it. Oh man, this is a nice fish. This is a pretty good size fish. Mm -mm -mm. Stick on it real quick. Without the tail pinched. 29. 31 with the tail pinched. That's a nice red drum. 31 with the tail pinched. Hope I can get this hook out okay. 
It's hard to see in this sunlight. There we go. Thank you, Lord. That was fun. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. Caught four red drum and one black drum, a jack, and a small spot tail pinfish. But let me take this opportunity to the guys uh, that donated to my GoFundMe page. If I can upgrade to a little bit larger boat, a safer, higher sides, a little bit longer, with big waves. Anyway, I want to thank Ben H., Jeff R., Sanjay and Bish Hall. Ryan B and Kevin W. Thanks, guys. Really helps. Really helps a lot. Need to help. I'm just an old retired soldier. Got a lot of money. Anyway, thank you. Lord bless you. Bye.